We love this segment. <laughs> Welcome back. It is time to check in on some of the headlines that you might have missed in our segment that we call uh, Have You, you heard? heard? Brought to you by Kara Kinnear and myself. <laughs> okay. Hi. Some people, some of you may rejoice over this first mm -hmm. headline. Some of you may be who? Who is it? <gasps> Saved by the Bell is making a comeback. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yesterday, AC Slater himself, Mario Lopez. Mm -hmm. I've interviewed Mario twice. Very nice guy. Okay. Um, that's right. The iconic 90s sitcom is getting a reboot, according to Mario himself. The revival will air on NBCU's upcoming streaming service called Peacock. And, um, well, I saw you, Trent, for one, is very excited. He is. Lopez will be joined by Elizabeth Berkley, who played Jesse Spano in the original series for the reboot. They are the only cast members that have been confirmed thus far. That's right. Peacock is set to launch in April 2020, but I did already hear that breaking news yesterday as I was working <laughs> late at the office with my leopard print blanket. Trent filled me in. He was so thrilled. Head to our Atlanta Company Facebook page for the rest of that scoop on other shows which will be available mm. on the Peacock Network streaming streaming app. You know, I learned a few things yesterday. The Office is like the number one sitcom of all time, like beat Seinfeld and everything. Wait, what? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's Kara? Mm -hmm. What's your source? I read it on the internet. Trent, please confirm that. No, I, it's true. Trent, I don't know, metrics, lots of metrics. They took research. Trent is one. doubtful. Oh yeah, everyone wants mm -hmm. to know in the control room, Kara, where are you getting it? Well, I'll sort, I'll cite it later, but I don't have that information <laughs> on me right now. But I did Kara's read like, that. Kara's like, hold on, where is I it? thought it was shocking too. Oh, I think I heard it because, uh, oh, it was an interview that I heard with one of the stars of the show. Maybe they were just pumping up their well, own show. Uh, clearly. But I don't think they would say that if it wasn't true. Really? I tell people this show gets five million viewers. <laughs> They did. Well, it does. Hold on. Wait. Thank you all for watching. We've got an update. We appreciate the it. The highest grossing, I can't believe mm. it still to this day, Thank you. is Guess in the 70s. See, see if you can guess the show. Charlie's Angels. No, MASH. Oh, MASH. Oh, of MASH, course. Yes. Now, My dad had all those VHS tapes. Oh, there were like remember, 75 of them. that theme music coming up? Mm -hmm. All right. I have to say, first of all, weigh in on reboots. Um, are they necessary? Are we running out of creativity? Or let's face it, if something was a hit and it makes sense, right. do, you, do you just try I like to? I like the nostalgia of it all, but I think you have to come in with the full crew, right? Like I Mark agree. Paul Gossler signed to that new show, Mix, Mixed Dish. Yes. And so they don't know if he'll be back. But um, I think you can't, how can you do Say by the Bell without Zach? Or Tiffany Amber. Or Tiffany Amber. Well, she was a little bit later. We but. would love. I wouldn't know, I mean, Kara. I, I, no. I mean, again, I could do folks, without Tiffany Amber, I but I did like her. No, no, she was in the beginning. I think she was yeah, in sorry, the very sorry, beginning. Sorry. You know, I think I was she thinking, was. You're right. I'm Who sorry, are you I'm thinking? Wrong. I was thinking of Leah Remini as she showed up at the beach. Leah Remini was in that show? She was. Wow. Yeah. You're yeah. dropping all sorts of knowledge on me <laughs> well, today. Well, I watched a lot of TV. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we want you to weigh in. Now, this next one yes. I am so excited about. Okay. Speaking of revivals, mm -hmm. if you are a fan of the Devil Wears Prada, yeah. I watch it every time it is on. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. time I have to stop and watch yes. it. Yes. Um, Miranda Priestley's headed to the stage. She is. Okay. Calm down. All right. A highly anticipated musical based on Lauren Weisberger's best selling 2003 novel, The Devil Wears Prada. Then, obviously, 2006 hit movie starring Meryl Streep and Anne Hathaway. It is heading to the Windy City, folks, mm. Chicago. All right, the premiere is set for July 14th at the Nederlander Theater in Chicago, like we just said. It's going to be there next summer for a one-month run. This is according to the Chicago Tribune. And do not worry, because the music, guess who's handling this score? I the can't. one, the only, Elton John. Oh, my gosh. It's expected to move to Broadway in New York later in the 2020 season. And it looks like I'm going to New York later in the 2020 season. Really? How about that? Are you? That would be fun. Yeah, that would be yeah. fun. Let's take the show in the road. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. um, I love it. Now, that I'm excited about. Yeah, me too. Because that, I mean, it was just, but it will be, in, it's always interesting to see how they come about, you know, because right. we have these, how if it you translates read the book, to the theater. And how, yes, how it mm -hmm. translates to the stage. We would have to ask Kenny Leon about that. I wonder who's directing. Now, do you always feel that when people say the book is better, the movie's better, the stage play was better, that there are different levels of snobbery with each? Uh, <laughs> like, well, oh, the book was so superior, it was far superior than the theater. And then you're like, no, the TV production was far better than the... <sighs> 
I will I have know. to say, no, I think yeah. most people mm. might agree. I mean, it's it's hard. I mean, if you are just absolutely entrenched in, in a novel that is well, I mean, I think it's hard to me. I, I don't know. The books come alive in my head yeah. with the care. I mean, I don't know. I always, I, most of the time, I tend to say a book. Yeah. Will always. Well, I think well, when you read of, a book, too, you have the imagery and the visual yes. is all in your it's own all in mind. Your mind. So right. if it's not translated how you think it should be to the screen, right. you obviously disagree with that. Yeah. Or have some issues or, with uh, it. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. But, but I do like it when people say that. Yes, they're like, it was much better like, oh, on the you stage. Can read. Oh. Okay, well, so why are we talking like this? Like, <laughs> I mean, we're, I don't know. like we're in Downton Abbey because <laughs> yeah. that's our next headline. Okay, fans are going to have a whole lot more reason to be excited this week. Not only is the show coming to the big screen, talking about mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. the small screen to the big screen. I know so many people, my mother in law, she would have loved mm. this. She loved Downton Abbey. But soon you are actually going to have a chance to stay in the drama's iconic filming location for one night only. This is pretty cool. The 1,000 square foot. High Clear Castle will be on Airbnb oh. as a first come, first serve listing on October 1st at 7 a.m. Put that alarm clock in your phones, people. And you can do this for only $160 a night. The listing also includes a lavish breakfast, probably a proper <gasps> English breakfast, yes. a private tour of the castle, butler service, a cocktail hour in the salon, what? and a traditional three course meal in the state dining room. I was talking to my mother on the phone yesterday, and out of nowhere, she just said, I can't wait for the Downton Abbey movie. Yeah, my mom is so She's excited. So excited too. Yes. I know. This mm -hmm. would actually be a really cool experience for the mom. It would be. Let's send them things. 60 a night? <laughs> yes. Or for the one night? Yeah. Okay, close to the home is located mm -hmm. in High Clear, England. And so, I mean, if you just are, are a diehard fan and sure. want to experience that, um, I, I just think it would be a, an so amazing neat. opportunity. Yes. I didn't watch Did Downton Abbey. I didn't. Oh my God, you read my mind. I didn't. Can I get a show of hands in the studio of who watches Downton Abbey? Anybody? Okay, it's what I thought. It's what I thought with this I mean, I've heard here. it's glorious, Abby. and my mom Abby. also bought all like the DVDs. I was going to say CDs. The, the DVDs. DVDs, and she gave them to me to watch, and I and never you have did. I haven't. Okay. Well, I know what you'll be doing during the six weeks that you're on yeah. maternity leave, mm -hmm. just checking all that out. <laughs> all right, we want you to, because you're going to have so much time on your hands with three children. I'm going I'm to yes. learn a new language. That's right. And take a cooking class. And learn to play guitar. <laughs> okay, please weigh in on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Head over there right now and let us know what you think of those headlines.